Remember the bunker on Caldera that was like on the side of Peak and it looked just like Bunker 11, but we could never open it. It literally never opened up. There's one underneath Ashika Island, but this one we can open. We've been in there. There's loads of amazing loot in there, both in DMZ and in Battle Royale, which is absolutely awesome. And there's even a puzzle that we haven't solved yet. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get into that bunker and everything we know about this unsolved mystery. If you want to find a squad to help you get into this bunker or just complete some DMZ missions or get some wins in Resurgence, consider checking out the sponsor of today's video, Gamerlink. It's a free app available on iOS and Android and you can use it to find a squad in over 350 games. There's a link in the description below or you can just search on your Play Store or App Store for Gamerlink. First of all, a massive shout out to Shane Whitehouse, who was the one who told me how to get into this bunker. We'd seen the door, but we had no idea you could get inside. And he sent me maybe the most helpful tweet I've ever had. He told me you can get into the bunker. He had a video showing exactly how to get into the bunker. It was amazing. And I did check with him and he was okay with me making this video. So thank you so much, Shane. Can we get some GG's in the comments for Shane? Because that was absolutely amazing. So the bunker we're talking about is in the tunnels that run underneath Ashika Island. You know, the big ones that have waterways in them. There's kind of three different sea entrances to them, but you can also take zip lines down. Like I said at the beginning, you can do this in Battle Royale and in DMZ. In Battle Royale, you don't have to deal with AI and stuff like that, but there is some amazing loot in this. So I would go there, you know, in the next few days while people don't really know about this. I imagine after a while, there's going to be a lot of players camping this, which will kind of suck, to be honest. Sorry for telling people about it in this video. In DMZ, there's a lot of AI to contend with. So for the rest of this guide, I'm going to talk about DMZ, but just know it does all work in Battle Royale. You just won't have to fight any AI, which is awesome. So the first thing you want to do is get to the bunker. You can go in through any of the waterways or the zip lines. In DMZ, you're going to have to fight lots and lots of armored units. There's a huge number of them. If you try to drive a boat just through the waterways, maybe you've tried it already, it won't end well. They will absolutely destroy you. So you kind of need to take your time. I would strongly recommend going in with a group of three for this and just kill all of the armored enemies as you go. There's also two juggernauts in here so they seem to be on this walkway that goes over the river we have been able to fight them one at a time so far but if you went straight up to that walkway you could end up aggroing both of them which would be a pretty bad time they don't drop anything sadly like i mean they'll drop a plate or something but they don't drop anything exciting like a weapon case but once you've cleared the area out, then you can see the bunker door. And there's actually two bunker doors. There's one that's kind of collapsed and there's one that's intact. The intact one has a keypad outside it, but you can't interact with it or anything like that. And that's because you don't actually open this from the outside. You open it from the inside, which is a little bit weird. So to get inside, you want to jump into the water and you want to be, if you're looking at the bunker door, go a little bit to the right. There's two pipes underneath it. One of them is completely blocked off and one of them, even though it looks really murky in there, you can actually swim through. Now be really careful here because there are trip mines. Do you know the ones that you have to defuse? The ones that you see all around the map in DMZ and Al Mazra. Make sure you either defuse them or you can just swim underneath them, but be really careful because they will down you and you're underwater. Once you get through, you get into the first chamber, which is actually a little jumping puzzle which is cool i don't think we've had a jumping puzzle in call of duty before so you just need to climb onto the rocks and then you can jump onto the first platform then you can jump and mantle onto the next platform and then you can jump onto the rocks to get into the main bunker and you should be able to make that jump and grab onto the edge if you need to but you can't get up there from the water then in the next room, if you're playing DMZ, you'll see an orange chest under the water. This is the one that the sort of mystery puzzle seems to link to. It's locked. It just says investigate when you go up to it. It's very strange. It's possible this will be linked to a tier five mission. We haven't got to tier five yet. Like we're still working through the DMZ missions, but there was one like this in Al Bagra. In Al Bagra Underground, there was an orange box underwater that you couldn't open until you solved something in a mission and then it unlocked this might be similar and this whole mystery thing might just be a mission from tier five but anyway you don't need to go down there you can now go into the bunker and there'll be a bunch of orange boxes weapon lockers stuff like that this is an amazing place to regain in dmz if you can get inside we've managed to do it only having one plate each and just having our insured weapons we've managed to get into the bunker by killing all of that ai and then you can completely regain like we found free plates for everybody in there sometimes you'll find self revives airstrikes all of that good stuff it's absolutely awesome and then when you walk near the bunker door it will actually start opening by itself from the inside so only one person needs to do the kind of tunnel and jumping puzzle the others could just wait outside 
inside if they're happy that the person who's gone in isn't going to steal all of the loot. So that's how you get into the bunker. And like I said, in Battle Royale, it's basically the same thing. You can still swim through the tunnel, do the jumping puzzle, get into the bunker, and you'll get a load of orange boxes, which is obviously great. You're just not going to have to deal with the AI and the juggernauts. So now on to the mystery. We noticed when we were kind of looking around the area for this, we were trying to work out how to open up that orange box in DMZ, that there's a bunch of switches in the tunnels. Now we found eight switches so far, there might be more. And let me know in the comments if you find another one. We think there might be a ninth one, but we haven't seen it yet. But we found eight and you can interact with them. As soon as you interact with one, an alarm will start sounding and you can interact with all of them at the same time. It doesn't matter what order you do them in or anything like that, or it doesn't seem to. So you can interact with all eight, and at some point, after a couple of minutes, another alarm will sound, and then after that, you can't interact with any more. So at first, we only found three of these. We tried hitting them all at the same time, because there's three of us in DMZ, and then nothing happened. And then we found some others after the second alarm had sounded, but we couldn't interact with them. So we went back in, we tried doing all eight between the two alarms, so we hit the first one, the first alarm started sounding, we ran around, all three of us managed to sprint around and hit a few of them, and then we hit all eight before the second alarm sounded, but still no luck, nothing opened up. Now, like I said, there is something a bit like this in our Bagra Underground, where you have to go into our Bagra Fortress, go in the underground section, run around and hit seven switches, I think it is, in under four minutes, and then if you do that, an orange box will open up for a mission. So it sounds very similar, and that's what I'm guessing this is. But let me know in the comments if you've got any other ideas, if you think this is some more complicated Easter egg. We're still exploring the map, obviously. We've found a couple of Easter eggs, and you can check out the videos on my channel for those. One of them, you get to go fishing and feed a seal. And then there's that kind of mini thing with the coins and the vending machine. That's pretty fun as well. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.